Hey guys, I hope you are having a wonderful day. Um, today for me it was stressful to be real. Um, I'm just now getting home from work and I actually got to leave earlier than I thought I would have left because I got out of my classes all early today, which was really awesome to get out of class early. So I was able to be at work like longer during like, yeah. Anyways, um, I was just basically able to, to work the same amount of time just earlier in the day and I am super happy about that. But because of that, I ended up getting stuck in traffic for like 30 minutes because somebody's car caught on fire. I took a clip of the traffic. I'll probably add it in for, I don't know, whatever reason so you can just see how bad it was because literally it was so lined up. My car was in park, like I was not moving at all. Um, for a long time so today was really stressful for me just because I had two tests and a quiz for my classes um, I think I did really well on my quiz and on one of my tests and I probably did okay on the third uh, like test or whatever yeah on, well on the second test um, I think I did okay I could have done better if I would have I don't know studied a little bit differently but apparently I did not so that's what I really wanted to talk about today I honestly didn't have plans to make a video at all today but I figured why not because I thought this was something that other students in college are probably having a hard time with if they're just starting college if you guys are probably been in college for a while maybe you have your own plan but so basically I suck at you know making time to study ahead of time um, to like actually really sit down and study the material uh, so I would first recommend to make time to study the material like live and learn from me, don't do it yourself, don't procrastinate and keep putting it off and putting it off to sit down and start studying. Now with that being said, I did read the chapters that was required for class that we were going over before class. I did take notes on those chapters and then I sat in the lecture for class and everything. Um, but even then with like really hard courses when you get up into like your 300 level courses are even higher. You're gonna wanna take more time to study. Um, so I did study probably for seven hours um, and that's covering four chapters, not including the time that I took to read each chapter and take notes on them or class time. Uh, but I definitely felt like I probably could have, I don't know, amped it up to like 10 hours. Um, as we did have basically, um, what's today? Today's February. We've had basically a month, almost 30 days. Um, maybe a little short, that maybe like 25 days to cover four chapters and learn the material. So 10 hours of study really shouldn't have been that big of a deal. Although I waited to the last three days to cram in my study sessions and that's a lot so yeah that's tip one to just not procrastinate and start studying uh tip two is also to stay hydrated uh during test day and during your study time as it'll allow like your brain to work better um and just like function a lot easier and your whole body all over water is never a bad thing let's just say that um so stay hydrated during your study and during like right before your test. You want to make sure you're hydrated so you can think well and have your full attention to uh, the test and you don't have to worry about being thirsty or having a headache from being dehydrated after also being super stressed from studying 
material or reading for long hours. Um, and then also tip number three is to just go ahead and make sure that you're eating a healthy meal uh, probably like the day before you study and also during the day right before you study. So if your test isn't until the afternoon, make sure you're eating like a healthy breakfast and lunch or snacks in between so that you're ready to go. Um, also, carbohydrates is a really good source of food to um, eat before a test. And the reason I say carbohydrates is because that is the fastest um, substrate that your body can break down into glucose to use for energy. And glucose is actually the only uh, like source of energy that your brain uses to uh, function. It's very important to have glucose in your body. Uh, so the easiest thing to do is eat carbs before your test and that'll allow your thoughts to just flow a lot better. I don't know all in depth of really how that happens with your brain, but I do know that um, your brain needs glucose to function properly, so it's important that you're consuming carbs um, before your test so you, you know, you can think. And uh, tip number four is probably to stop and to like break in during your study time. Make sure you like get up, walk away. Um, don't overstudy, don't cram. And tip number five is to make sure that you are exercising. I know this sounds kind of silly and maybe a lot of people don't like to exercise, but exercising is actually a healthy way to help reduce other stressors and it'll just make you feel a little bit better. So those are my five tips for having healthy study habits to help you pass your exams. There's probably other ones that are pretty common like asking questions, study groups, other things like that. Uh, there's all kinds of things that you could literally do to help you in your study habits and doing better on your tests but those are my five and then some tips like after if you are pretty stressed just like take the time to like just kind of forget about it honestly like once the test is done and you handed it in it's literally up to the instructor to grade it and your grade is whatever your grade is you cannot change that grade now you may be able to argue a question in the when you guys go over the exam if a question was written incorrectly or it was just a bad question and maybe you'll be able to get some extra points there but other than that like there's really nothing that you can do your grade is what it is so it's just best to kind of just like forget about it and move on with your day uh don't let that like hold you back from doing anything and then you know, just go do something fun. Uh, try to like de-stress any way possible, whether that's either doing one of your hobbies that you love, if it's maybe going to the gym or playing a sport or uh, playing video games or just sitting there listening to music. Maybe like yoga or a hot bath or hot shower will really make you feel better or even just like hugging or petting your pets. That might make you feel a little bit better too after a test. And you know, it's only a test. And if you didn't do so well, that's okay because you can learn from that. You can learn from your mistakes and you can improve next time. And hopefully it's only one test that maybe you didn't do so hot on and you'll be fine. So, or maybe you did really awesome and you, you know, you don't care. But for me, I have testing anxiety. Um, and even after I take a test, I still feel a little stressed. So those are some easy ways to de-stress as well. And that's basically all that I really wanted to come here on today. I know this is probably a shorter clip than normal. I hope that those tips really help you. And if you have tips that you think that could help me for my like testing anxiety or stress about testing or anything like that, please comment below, leave your tips and I would be happy to like look over them and maybe even try them for my next uh, test and see how it goes. Hopefully uh, your tips will benefit me. If not, I'll just 
keep rocking on with my steps and hopefully, you know, not procrastinating so much. Take my own advice maybe um, there, but the rest of the tips I do strictly follow. Um, and I try not to procrastinate. I'm just really, it's a really bad habit of mine. And then if you really liked this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed and you did like the video, you might as well just subscribe because, I mean, let's be real. Give me some love. And I'm going to be posting more videos and either about school or my life or fitness. So I hope to uh, see you guys soon and get to talk to you in the comments. Bye. Have a great night, guys. And happy studying.